Aspect. Yeah. Uh, one thousand hit points. Horse power. Hit points. One thousand HP. One thousand hit points. Thousand hit points. Uh, it's a new album which came out. What was it? August fifth. It's coming out. Streaming. It's August fifth. Streaming right. All right. Yeah. So we're all gonna give our our thoughts on it. So I'll let you go first. Um. Okay. I was underwhelmed. I'm just gonna come out and say it right off the bat. Um, the two. How many things we put up besides uh, the the title track? You put out a thousand horsepower and generation day. day. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, out of, out of the two singles we put out, I think I like generation day a little better. Um, but all the riffs sound the same. They do throughout the entirety of the album. It's either palm muted or the same sort of progression of notes. My Better. bad. Continue. But yeah, it's it's almost that they're using the same notes, the same riffs, the same themes or whatever you want to call them on the guitar throughout the entire album. Which the riffs are really crunchy, but they're not. There's no imagination to them whatsoever. Uh, the drums. Uh, who's on drums? Shannon. Shannon. Shannon Larkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Excellent drum work on this album. Uh, Sully did okay on vocals, but a lot of the songs didn't seem to have the balls that Godsmack used to. They were trying to, but it just didn't work uh, quite as well. So I'll turn it over to these guys and let them go in more depth. Uh, me, to, kind of, to bounce off what Luke said, I, I wasn't... This album was... I, it's what I expect, almost what I expected it to be. I wasn't underwhelmed or overwhelmed. I was just whelmed, if that's a good <laughs> term. Uh, <laughs> but I don't. It, 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 after listening to a uh, thousand horsepower when that came out, you know that's very Godsmack. You know a lot of the songs have very uh, Godsmack riffs. You know, locked and loaded is a very Godsmack sounding riff, and then. Also, you know, Generation Day and songs like he was talking about. Uh, what's the other one besides Generation Day? What's next? Yeah, you know, a lot of those songs. The, it's yeah. Well, FML is kind of a, is a, is a different story, but like, it's just like when you listen to Godsmack albums. Godsmack always has a lot of songs with a lot of riffs that sound like that. So, kind of going into it, I expected to hear lots of. A palm mute pattern, and then them hitting like a couple notes afterwards. Like I kind of expected that, you know. It's very much what they've done for a long time, for over ten years now. It's it's what they've done, and so. But I feel like sometimes on this album they try to, they try to branch out, which is is cool sometimes. You know, Generation Day is like six minutes long. The middle section is different for Godsmack. FML is a little bit more. Rockish, and a little bit less hard hitting for Godsmack, and then it's also uh, something different, a little bit also a bit softer. You know, it's it's something a bit of a different tone than what Godsmack has done before, and I'm okay with with them experimenting, but it just didn't connect. Uh, the last song, crap, what's the last song called? Turn to stone. Turn to turn to stone. It's it's an okay song. It sounds like voodoo a little bit. But that was an okay song, and like like you said, a uh, thousand horsepower. Uh, if you can get past the the TP riff, the the, the, the just the yeah. main riff, which is funny yet very Godsmack, and so at least in that sense, awesome at the same time. Uh, and then you know, Generation Day is pretty okay, and then Locked and Loaded was all right. But then no other songs really stand out on this album. As this was a really good song, um, like you said. Shannon uh, Arkin. Ar Arkin. Sh uh, Shannon Arkin, great job as a drummer on this album. I mean, Godsmack has definitely has, uh, if not the best, one of the best drummers in hard rock ever. I'm just, or at least right now, maybe I won't say ever, but he's, he's definitely, and he does a great job on this album, kind of matching and spicing up what's going on with the rest of it. Sully does a great job of vocals, the guitars. Uh, sound very Godsmacky. Uh, I don't think they have maybe as much of a punch. 
I mean, then again, my favorite uh, album by them is Awake, and that is a very raw, in-your-face, kind of, you know, knock-you-out punch kind of feel to it. And it's very just tough, whereas this is a little bit more a little bit more refined. It still has a little bit of grit to it, but not as much as I would like. And then uh, back on Sully. Uh, Sully's vocals are just... He sounds weird on a couple of songs. Mostly in the beginning. Like, the first half of the album up until right around uh, Generation Day sounds like it's very much they're trying to experiment a little bit more with their sound. And so Sully tries different vocal techniques, especially in, like, FML and something different. Whereas he does what he's always done with the, the other song. So, I mean, there's not really that much growth there. But he, he's trying, so I'll give him that. Uh, all around, like I said, this was this is an okay album. It's basically what I expected, like how I started off my, uh, my thoughts. It's what I expected from it. Uh, yeah. I wasn't expecting album of the year from Godsmack. Um, but I think I was expecting just... This album to have a couple of those songs that were just like, fuck yeah. Like off the Oracle. Like, Love, Hate, Sex, Pain is a really good song. Good Day to Die or something like that. Um, nothing just really stands out. But that doesn't mean there's not a couple songs on here where you should uh, turn that shit up louder. <laughs> <laughs> take, it to, take it to a thousand more well, well, players. And, and before I continue, the album art for this record is fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just really, really fucking stupid. But it, I mean, it fits the album title and the title track, but it's just... No. Um, anyways. This album is business as usual for Godsmack. Um, but I do applaud them for, for trying some new things. I mean, they've yeah. always... Every record from Godsmack has always been business as usual, but I hear it, you know, every once in a while... They'll do something different. They'll they'll spice it up or something. I I applaud them for continuing to do that. This, you know, late into their career, they could have just put out another record and said, "We're gonna make a bunch of money off of this," and that's it. You know, we didn't really put much effort into it. But you can tell that they did take time to write these songs. Um, now the guitar work by I always forget his goddamn name. Um, I knew it was Tony Tony Rambola. Um, he's kind of a one trick pony like all of his riffs sound exactly the same <clears throat> throughout every song but it retains that god smack sound I mean you can you can give this album shit all you want it's god smack and if you know if he, god smack is your favorite band in the world um, then you'll love the shit out of this. I, I mean, I'm a Godsmack fan. I think their live performance is one of the best live performances that you can see. And, you know, I do really enjoy a lot of their songs. But, I mean, after a while, it does get very, very samey. Like, a couple of the riffs on, on this album are just so stupid. <laughs> I don't know how to really put it. Like, I feel like it's a 12th grader that just got a, not a 12th grader, a 12 year old that just got his first Fender guitar and he found out what drop C is and now he's writing some riffs. Um, that's kind of what they're like. Uh, but, but then they're stupid riffs, but then the drum work makes them kind of cool by giving them that groove or, you know, giving them that little extra balls that you're just like, I can deal with this. I think it was pretty much every song started off with a riff that Keith and Luke and I all looked at each other and just kind of chuckled. We're like, this is kind of cool. You know? And that's cool. That I mean, that's more of a testament to Shannon Larkin, who's a fantastic drummer. I always thought his drums were basically the best in hard rock. I mean, he's... A, one, he's a fascinating drummer to watch live. Um... I mean, he throws his sticks 30 feet up in the air and catches them and still keeps going. That's awesome. Um, it, but, but his drums, they just got this, like, groove to them and this flow. And it's just, like, yes. And, and, and I, I really like it. You can tell a lot of Alice in Chain influence in this band. It's in the vocals and in, sometimes in the guitar and such as songs like Turn to... 
turning the stone. Um, and, you know, you can obviously sense a very big metallic influence in this band as well. Yeah. Um, you always have been, they've always had those influences since the beginning of their career. And they're still there. That's still pretty cool. Uh, excuse me. Um, Sully Erna, he, he sounds like Sully Erna. I mean, he, he's a great vocalist. He has a very unique sound. He has a, it, I, I think one thing that's great about him is that when Godsmack's trying to be a very, when they're trying to be very hard ass and, you know, very aggressive and angry, his voice really, really works for that. You know, such as when he says, like, I'm going to break your face and yeah. whatever song oh, that is on here. Locked yeah, Locked and Loaded. Like, you know, it's just, it works. Or songs like, was it Locked and Loaded? I think so. Yeah, Locked and Loaded. Like, he just sounds kind of pissed off there. and It's pretty cool. But there's a couple songs on here where I think the lyrics were written by a an angry 14-year-old. You know? Like, I, mean, I don't belong. Don't belong. Fuck yeah. my life. What it, What is this? Fucking, f did Ivan Moody join f uh, fucking Godsmack? Jeez. Like, they're horrible lyrics. Um, they could fit in, they're lyrics that would be written by a queer Warped Tour band. You know? I, so, a couple of the lyrics on here, I'm just not really, they're just kind of like, whatever. They're like, 1,000 horsepower. You can't sit there and not say that song is not corny as fuck. Yeah. Turn that shit up louder. <laughs> you know, it's going in a good way. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can't listen to that song and not just smile or just move or something. You know, there's some good songs on here, but there's not a I stand alone, a, a whiskey hangover, a, Crime a, a, a greed. Yeah, and, and like kind of like Luke said, I feel like some songs they try to have those balls that they had more earlier in their career, but it's just not. It's just not enough balls. They're they just have, old they have man one balls. One ball. Man. They don't have two balls. They've only got one. Yeah, it's they're just it's just old man balls now. Um, they're, I mean, they're not that old, but yeah. still. Um, you know, there's no like greed or something or awake or whatever. That's just just very pissed off songs. Um, but there's a couple really good on here. There's some good riffs. Um, I enjoyed you know the variety in the guitar work in some songs, especially. Uh, the one with the talkie box. The talkie box. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that was interesting. Nothing new. Nothing about this album's groundbreaking. Nothing about this album's really groundbreaking for Godsmack. It's just another Godsmack album. It works. With some good songs. Some okay songs. I mean, I'm not going to be rushing out to buy this and say this is the greatest shit I've ever seen heard in my life. Um, but I mean, if, you got, if you're a really, really big Godsmack fan, probably won't be disappointed with it at all, because... There's a couple good songs on here. I don't know. Just my opinion. This is just our opinion, of course. Yeah. Um, you, you might have a very different opinion on Godsmack and on this album. And that's completely cool. Keep it that way. Um, it's just kind of... Uh, subtext. Yeah. Alright. So... Oh. Anything uh, else? That's uh, basically yeah. everything about this album. Do some ratings. Um, in turn, just looking at it in terms of a Godsmack album, like Top said, it's not gonna be. It's like Top said, it's not gonna be album of the year. It's still a solid album. It, you know, I'm, I might pick it up at some point, or I might just take a pencil and stab myself in the eye. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna give this a six point seven five out. Of I was gonna give this a, like a seven point two five out of ten. This it's a it's a good album. It's not bad. It's not great. It's a good album. I'll go in the middle. So therefore, I'm average, and the average is always right. So seven out of ten, I win. Oh. One of these guys. Yeah. FML. Yeah. FML. If you could some, give me something uh, different, you know, sometimes yeah. um, people comment and say that we're very quiet, and you know what? Just turn that shit up louder. <laughs> Yeah. You take it to 1,000 horsepower, and then you'll hear us. Yeah! And of course, blaze it. <laughs> 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 I 